Do you get paid bonuses per overhead kick? Stop overhead kicking the damn ball. It looks good, but it, it just doesn't work. Hello, welcome along to the LS11 FIFA preview. It's uh, Leeds taking on Bristol City. Uh, I'm Tom Maguire, joined alongside Tom Kind of the two Toms. Uh, ready for some FIFA action? Yes, ready for some FIFA indeed. Ready to continue the Undertaker-esque streak? Yes, yes. I like how Berardi, before we went on a... Bayrardi. Bayrardi. Uh, it was size before, and Berardi's still there despite the fact he's suspended. So, there we go. Well done, EA. Right, call it. Tails! Who would you like to be? Oh, bothered, they're both good, aren't they? Uh, you said tails. It yeah. is. It is tails. Is it? Leeds. Uh, we're a home side. Home advantage. I got Bristol. Then. Then we're be... not doing the gifts this time. We did the gifts last it time. It took me two so hours of work. Effort. And you know, not there work. I am complaining about doing work. It's FIFA we're playing. Yes, I say. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, is that me? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. lol. Finish. Oh, lol. Right, let's get on with it. You like Bobby Reed, don't you? So you'll be happy with this. I do like Bobby Reed. I think. Mm. I was saying I think he's uh, you know a, a really decent striker. But if anyone were going to go in for him, obviously they're going to have to pay. Yeah. And I thought if Leeds needed a striker, he would have been a good option. But yes, not the case. Yeah, it's a very very accurate league table this time because we bothered to update it for this one. And uh, we're underway. Let's get going, right? Okay. So last time out, of course, uh, Paul Heckingbottom, the Heckingbottom regime has begun. Yes. The Heckingbottom heritage. I'm trying to think of a you know. No, that's rubbish. Keep thinking. But the suggestions you've got so far have been quite disappointing. Uh, it's not as good as the Evans era when I. Uh, it was a look, great look back at Steve Evans' time in charge wow. of Leeds. How'd you come up with that? Uh, e and E. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's like EE, the uh, football ball thumper. Good man. Yeah, so, I don't know, Heckingbottom Heritage. Uh, not a good start for him, but some positives to take, Tom. You were there at the game. Yeah, second half, they were good. Uh, I think very, very positive second half. They uh, played well for the entire half. Um, just again, uh, the issues of conceding early. Uh, were ultimately, that, that was it. Well, that was the difference, really, in the end, by a single goal. And yeah, and a silly penalty really to give away as well. Whether or not it was a penalty has been up for debate, but the fact is O'Kane shouldn't be putting his leg out there, shouldn't really be diving in in that area of the pitch because you can... Good tackle. They, they get given, they were given, and Billy Sharp, you're always going to back him, in you, really? So yeah, disappointing afternoon, but you know, the, the confidence is still there from what we saw in the second half. I think when he gets players back, the likes of Saiz, etc. Last game on the ban this for free Leeds players, free first team players, and he'll be back, um, which is exactly what what he'll need. And it's uh, reinforcements that will be welcomed with open arms. Yeah, it's the first game, obviously at home for him as well. So Paul Hackingbottom, if he wants to endear himself to the Ellen Road faithful, what a way to get started if he gets a win over Bristol. Bristol, not too bad. Although costing me my acker. Oh, he texted me about this on Saturday. Unreal. Right? Even... Three nil up against Sunderland. Sunderland, right? And then they go and score two own goals. So in a three-three game, Bristol scored five of them. Unreal. Impressive. Impressive penalty. Given it wasn't. It? Um, yeah, well, you texted me on Saturday, and I uh, I hadn't seen that score. I just saw their three nil up, and you went Brist I had Bristol City, and I went, well, all three of them won on the three teams you had. Before before I text that back, I'll just uh, I will just double check the score. Yeah. Free, free. Yeah. What? That's like because I was looking at, it, I was thinking, oh, half time, I've got this pretty decent Bristol looking good. Yeah, boys. Woo. Yeah, the boys. No, no it's not happening. No, no, they. Uh, so again, you know, much like maybe, maybe Leeds will be looking. Yeah, so they are. They've hit a really rough patch of form at the moment. Uh, not as bad as Leeds, but they'll uh, they'll be coming to Allen Road with, again with a uh, much like Leeds with oh, a feel that a need to win. And I think if Leeds don't get anything here, it really is goodbye to the top four when you think about it. But <laughs> top six, sorry. Um, I was just I thought you were going to say it's goodbye to Paul Heckingbottom. It's goodbye. Just get rid. It. It's not worked. A red kick. Oh no! I like Joe Bryan as well. I like Aidan Flint as well. You do. You like Bristol City. I don't like you? Bristol. Apart from, some, of, some of their players. Apart from Saturday. Apart from Saturday. That's so they why they the, let me they can down. Get, get in the bin. <laughs> uh, of course, let us know where. Oh, oh, Calvin. Let us know you're in your. Um, in, oh. Try again. I'll try again. Start again. Uh, let us know your uh, comments and uh, predictions for the game and what you think about the starting eleven and who it should be, etc., etc. Uh, uh, what you made of the Sheffield United game? Uh, it was all right. Better than recent weeks, despite the loss. I think, you know, the way they played in the second half, 
I think another game against another team as silly as it sounds they probably would have won um, but Jansen's all over today he's giving all side um, so yeah I think it, it was decent I, I thought that the second half was very good again it was just the first half which cost them Heckenbottom's only been there a few days it's something he'll, he's going to address in the long run um, but <laughs> you know they, they can't keep playing bad in the first half and expecting it to work they're putting themselves on the back foot and they're giving themselves too much to do in the second half positives though I thought Lasogo was decent took his goal very well Pablo was boot uh, missing or something isn't it yeah Pablo uh, Pablo changed the game for Leeds when he came on that's why here I've dropped both Roof and Alioski don't think really they should be anywhere near the start of 11 on current form I've put oh what a cross oh he's he missed missed uh, MG so uh, what was I saying I've dropped uh, Roof and Alioski I've Based put on Pablo form. on the left and I've put Chibitsky and you, you on like the playing, right you like playing him in central yeah I just think they need support close to Lasaga because of the nature of the striker he is they need to get players close to him Pablo likes to get it and cut inside so it brings players the ball closer to him do you think we'll bring out the best in La Soga? Um, so, gone for Pablo. Put Chibitsky in as well, I think. Maybe he might get uh, a second run at it under Heckin bottom. He was in the squad, so he might look to him with, uh, with his current wide players struggling. I think they need to just do the kind of Pablo-esque, get players close to, close to La Soga, try and play more centrally, and see if that works, because... Both Alioski and Roof were so ineffective that first half. Really, really ineffective. And it damaged Leeds as much as the defensive effort did. So did that. Oh, that's a good ball. What ball? Can I make it pay, though? Nope, I can't. Damn it. Uh, what about Debock? Um, thoughts on Debock so far? And uh, what about Forshaw as well? I like them both. I think they're both. Forshaw's good. getting a, a plenty of uh, praise on Twitter. Yeah, so I think he's been very good. He's leads his best player on Saturday. I think he's uh, added something else to that midfield. I really like him. I really like that signing Debock as well. Proper left back. I think that's a good bit of business. Get down. So yeah, good good general business. Uh, Tyler Roberts. Looking forward to seeing him in action. Should be back fit for this one. Obviously, we'll, we'll see Heckenbottom later in the week, but the suggestion was that he, he'll be back for this one. And, yeah, gives Leeds something else. And Ekiban as well. Oh! oh! And Ekiban's back as well in the squad. So. It's good to see him back as well. Hopefully he can... Likes what I've seen of him, we've just not seen enough of him. I know, that's the thing. I want mm. to see more... What was it? The Sunderland game. And we're just thinking, oh, he's not looking too bad. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. injured. Oh, he's poor, injured. Poor lad. Comes back. QPR. Yeah. There looks oh he's injured. injured. Oh. So I'm hoping he gets a sustained run of games to be fair cuz stay injury free. Well no this is the thing though you've got to remember it takes a lot to come back from an injury. Yeah exactly. And you not usually get your confidence back straight away but when he did come back that first time he looked pretty good. Yeah. So liked what early we've seen of him but you, you know this not nothing against him we've just not seen enough of him to to properly make a judgment I feel. What was that? Well, how can you pull him back? If you played on, you've played on. Oh my word! Is it Brian? No, it's Allison. Got Frank Fielder on it. He's good. Brian has got no. Oh, I can't off the ball there. <laughs> Power. Get Who Frank. did you say? Brownell. Frank Fielding. Wait, oh, Frank. There he is. All right, okay. Let's try. Ah, oh, what are we doing? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you've got to take it now. You've got to take it. Not far, not Inver far. Inversion. Yeah, that's, it's that's, good. That's two, that's two. Oh, we're at half time. We're at half time, are we? Bit of half we're time into two. Fair enough then. Um, okay, so 1-0 uh, uh, Bristol. Uh, I'm going to be quite brutal here, allow me to play devil's advocate, but quite realistic of what Leeds would probably be at this point, it seems. Based on recent weeks, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on recent weeks, I should come out all guns blazing here. And, uh, what a second and half. do you in the first 15 minutes of this half? <laughs> Man sent off. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh, damn it. I thought just rest against what the corner. What corner flag uh, mechanics? FIFA's corner flags are just, just, just stupid. Oh, oh, no. Our ball. Good decision, referee. I think I'm more attacking here. 
Right Did on. we talk about... Yeah, so Forshaw's been good, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've liked what I've seen of him so far. Oh, Pablo. Oh, oh well, in Ronaldo. What a tackle. What a tackle. Oh, he's pushed him off as well. Can he make it pay? Oh, he's done it! Oh, no. No! 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 I was! I oh. saved by the backtracking defender! Go on, Forshaw, get it back in. Corner. He knows it out. No, oh, God. disgrace, ref. Oh, my word. Good ball in, Pablo. Great ball. Handball! He's punched that away, surely. Oh, what? That was GBH, ref. <laughs> Good. Welcome to Leeds. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit more about Heckingbottom in general. Um, what sort of different style did you see from uh, compared to Thomas Christensen? No. Uh, <sighs> Any major differences, Tom? Uh, slight formation tweak, obviously. If the second half we saw more of it. I think the thing at Barnsley was they weren't performing, but they weren't giving up. If you know what I mean, like his teams would not give up despite results. They would keep working, and that you can, you can forgive a lack of talent. Really, it's if the players aren't putting the effort in. That's where you start to question a manager. Despite their poor run, etc., he still managed to get the players to put the effort in. And for me, it reflected that really oh, poor. in a, in Leeds at Bramall Lane, where it was more you were more pleased with what you'd seen compared to recent weeks. There's more an air of positivity then. Yeah, you, they, you expect that with a new manager, don't you? Yeah, but in terms of you know they found themselves down early again. It could have been worse. However, second half we've seen it from Leeds in recent weeks. Yes, but. They came out and played some really good football and had kind of wanted to take the game to them. Even at 1-1, they weren't willing to back off. They wanted three points and it was just generally more positive. So you're thinking, right, Bristol City come to town. They can have a good first half. As silly as it sounds, going goalless, small steps, going goalless at, at the break, come out in the second half with a real belief that they can win it. And I think... That could probably be the difference. And again, if they get a result here, everything looks a bit different. As Heckenbottom said after the game, he's saying, you know, it's a tough run and if we lose, then it doesn't look great. But then equally, if we go and win those games, suddenly the picture looks completely different. It does. 15 games, you know, a number of points obviously up for grabs. Um, and the way that they sort of... Oh, again? I've got, he's taking him out off the ball. The division. You watch him, ref. The division is very tight. Yes. That's what I mean. That's why, really, it feels like if they can get some results here, it's not ridiculous. Say eh? anyone in that top thirteen. I think the derby, the derby game is probably going to be a real good measuring stick of whether there's going to be aims for the top six this season. Yeah, anyone in the top thirteen in the division can still get top six. There's an eight point gap from thirteenth to sixth. It's two games swing, and suddenly it's a lot closer. Based on this current league, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm not saying they will, but there's a chance. Um, no, no. Division's very open, and you know Leeds need to use that as a bit of an advantage. Really, oh, I'm struggling to break down this. Oh, what a terrible pass! No, what a challenge. He's flipped him as well. Happy birthday, Pontus, for when we're recording this on Tuesday. Oh yes, happy birthday. Uh, also, Alex Moore's birthday. Happy birthday to him. Uh, yeah, someone commented, you look like an Ale a skinny Alex Moore on an LS11 video yes, the other day. He, uh, uh, I look like an Ewok from Star Wars. I'm trying to grow <laughs> my beard out, mate. Give me a bit of a break. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, scored that belter at Huddersfield. Just such an underrated Leeds goal. That is an absolute screamer. It's not Lewis Cook against Fulham, though. Mm, yeah. Mark Wilson <laughs> describing it as 100 metres away. 100 metres away. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible defence. Get that oh. I'm gonna have to make subs here to try and salvage this one. Oh, it's 77 minutes. I know, that's why I'm panicking a bit here now. Walsh. Who else can I bring on? Um Yeah, you come on. Can't bring Flint off, can I? No. Uh, all right. Magnuson. Purely for his name. Sounds like a villain. Yes. Fat change of mind. Oh, look what he did. Sacco on instead. Sacco and Alioski. Interested to see if Alioski was to come off the bench, if that would help him a bit, given his recent form, because he's not been playing well at the moment. Well, you've been his biggest critic all season long. Not all season long. Most of the season, Tom. Not been great for most of the season, <laughs> let's be honest. And, right, stop 
trying overhead kicks as well. This is re <laughs> really winds me up. Stop overhead kicking the damn ball. Tried it three times against Sheffield United, one of which was outside the box. Do you get paid bonuses per overhead kick? Stop overhead kicking the damn ball. It looks good, but it, it just doesn't work. Stop it. If you're watching, Johnny. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Jesus. Someone wasn't good at them at five side. No, because I know they're stupid. <laughs> they don't work. Well, what if it paid off? Wait, what if it did pay off? But then you can say that about anything in life. Shut up. This is not some deeper <laughs> sort of moment about, you know, trying things. I don't know, shut up. I was saying, where I'm you winning going? for the where first time in a very long time. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Oh! Get keeper up. Get keeper up. Get keeper up. Those subs only just went off. I know, yeah. What, an, what a final five. Oh. Debock. Similar to Sheffield United. He's going to try it from distance. Corner again. Keeper, get, get Felix up. Am I parking? Yeah, I'm parking it. Come on, clear. Yes. Oh, no. Been caught out here. No, good defence. Good defence. Uh, oh, what a challenge. No! Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God, Fielding! He's doing these world he saves. Yes, Felix is up. That post unmarked. It's our ball if it goes. No! That's our ball! <sighs> Slow it down, boys. Ah, oh, boo! I don't know why I can't throw it, though. I say, what's going on here? I can't move. Boo! I can't move. <laughs> Seriously, I'm boo! moving it. Oh, there we go. Streak is over. Ah. And this is the sad news, though. It's like Undertaker at his last WrestleMania. I know, but you're actually going into retirement now. Yes. Um, is this is Tom's last LS11 uh, with us here on LS11. Yes. Um, all the best, Tom. Didn't how Not how I Sorry. wanted it to end. Break. We can go to a clip, uh, some clips of Tom's best bits. <laughs> Bristol City 1-0 uh, against Leeds United annoyingly realistic, annoyingly realistic yeah. yes yeah. which is annoying but hey ho hey ho hey ho we'll wait and hopefully see hopefully not yeah. hopefully this is the promotion charge start now <laughs> ah. stop slapping your hand right I was okay. going to say we're punching well anyway listen if you want to leave uh, Tom uh, a little uh, goodbye message or anything like that or if you want to follow oh, him as well at Tom C underscore 22 on Twitter yes uh, go and follow him for his next adventure and everything and wish him well but of course uh, LS11 it continues and uh, to keep up to date with everything Leeds United LS11 LUFC on Twitter and here on YouTube but like subscribe Tom all the best mate thanks bye see ya